Hey, I'm Ryan Van, SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to do a little bench racing. Daytona 200 2021 and more. The Daytona 200 is the most iconic American road race, without question. It's no longer part of the professional series here. It's not part of Moto America, and I don't mean that as any knock. They do a phenomenal job with that race. It's still a great draw. If you're not going to be there and you want to see it, like myself, it is completely accessible. It's going to be streaming on NBC Sports Gold, which is a streaming app that's available. For more details on that, go to roadracingworld.com. John and Chris are going to have that all laid out for you on the website, and they'll keep broadcasting that throughout the week. The race is on Saturday, so you've got plenty of time. Get signed up in advance, like we're going to, so you can watch the race. I've gotten a lot of messages over the last month or a few weeks or whatever. Hey, you going to be down there racing with Max? Nope, we're not there yet. The kid's only 15. He's got nine total race weekends. We've got a whole season of SportBikeTrackHere.com, Moto America Junior Cup in front of us that I'm still trying to get ready for. I hope someday that he rides well enough that it justifies going down there and making a real nice effort because Daytona is a complicated track, right? So many things have to happen to get you across that finish line first. You have to have luck. You have to have a great rider, and your team has to be on point. Your pit stops have to be on point. Everything has to go smooth. And then, of course, the infamous draft. You watch how that all unfolds. It is epic, and that's what makes this event such a big deal. I've got here in front of me, I printed off the riders list. I looked at this. There's some names I already know right? Because remember, this didn't run in 2020. The damn Corona apocalypse got in there and fucked everything up, okay? So the event ended up canceled, which is a real shame. So the last one that was completed was in 2019. So Kyle Wyman is the defending champion for the race that we're going to have this weekend. You look at this list of riders. There are a ton of names on here. One of them is Michael Dunlop. That in itself is super badass, I got to read off a couple a couple riders that are on the list and their sponsors, right? Danny Eslick, it's confirmed he's going to be there. This guy's a multi-time Daytona 200 champion, so he's an odds-on favorite, no doubt about it. Anyone who's followed Danny throughout his career knows that he's had uh, he's had some run-ins with the law down there in Florida, right? So his sponsor list is TOBC Racing, Palm Beach Police Foundation. Politis and Malavina Law Offices, Arai Helmets, and Suzuki. I could top that. My man, Johnny Rock Page. This guy is special. Anyone who follows American road racing has been exposed to one degree or another to Mr. Johnny Rock Page. I'm going to do the best I can to read uh, what he has here. It's this list of sponsors. John 3-3 three, three through 8 NIV. We're only going to read the uh, interesting ones. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Air Jordan number 23. DJ Paris Whitney Hilton VP. TB12 Tom Brady. This is epic. TW Tiger Woods. Captain America, God's Chosen. Oracle, Larry Ellison. This is unbelievable, dude. Johnny Rock Page, Team Salty. Pulsa Page Company. I think this could be the end of the interesting sponsors. Oh, wait. Movie, one-tenth of a second. Amazon Prime. He's an interesting dude. You know, look him up on Facebook. He, he, every now and again, he graces one of my posts with his presence and just starts talking the Mississippi River as shit you can't understand. It's pretty epic. 
So who are we rooting for this weekend? Who are Max and I rooting for? We've sponsored Team Hammer, right? M4X Star Suzuki for a long time. Chris and John are, are good friends of mine. They run what I believe is best team in the Moto America paddock. I'm going to say that. They're my buddies and they do a great job. We've had a lot of fun together over the years. They're going to be down there with Sean, Dylan, Kelly. So I'm for sure rooting for Sean, Dylan, Kelly on that Suzuki GSXR 600. There's another person who is not on this list. And that's young Mr. Rocco Landers. He is on Team Landers Racing. This year, they could have raced, right? They, they could have gotten a deal probably with Team Hammer and rode that, but Stoney chose to go in his own direction. They are interesting people. They've done a phenomenal job with Rocco and his program. I've gotten to be there at the Moto America races. Obviously, last year we did three rounds ourselves. I've gotten to know Stoney and Rocco pretty well. And I got to tell you, they are impressive. I love that he put this Daytona effort together in a matter of days. Last week, Stoney shoots me a text. Hey, man, you got a second? Get on the phone. He needed help getting some parts, bits together to get a Daytona race bike that he hadn't even started building yet. Fast forward to today is Wednesday. Stoney is down in Florida putting the finishing touches on Rocco's Yamaha R6 race bike. Rocco's never ridden Daytona, right? Stoney is one hell of a crew chief. He took something that was not race ready, completely built it, and drove all the way from the West Coast to Florida. And I promise you this, right? And some people might doubt this. I know this dude. When I watch him work at Moto America, and he comes down to the hot pit when Rocco's out there on his junior cup bike. This dude could change a motor on a red flag, right? And get the kid back out there, no problem. He is unbelievably prepared. And he has the drive to put something together, right? That other people wouldn't even think of tackling. And not only put it together, but he gets it done and he gets it done right. So, I will be rooting for Rocco Landers every bit as much as I'm rooting for Sean, Dylan, Kelly. Are we sponsoring Rocco? I'm helping him out, you know? Are we contributing a lot to his program? No, I'm paying for my own program this year and supporting Moto America. So there's only so much budget to go around. It is what it is, but we're proud to have at least a tiny little piece of their deal because I love the whole father-son thing. I love how they're doing it together, how well they work together, and just the spirit behind it. Stoney and I were on the phone talking a little bit today. And if you go back to last year, 2020, Rocco was supposed to be racing overseas, Red Bull Rookies Cup. That's pretty cool, no doubt. The Corona apocalypse got in the way of that like it did a whole bunch of other things. And on a Tuesday, Stoney, who's all of Rocco's, right, Rocco's bike, his Ninja 400, it was in pieces. It was a bare frame that got back from a frame strainer. The bike was in boxes. Stoney loaded those boxes into a truck and trailer on a Tuesday and drove all the way to Road Atlanta. When he got there, and I think he said he got there Thursday night, he put the bikes to he put the bike together, right? Through the night, had assembled a perfect race bike, great settings. He had data from the previous year that was ready to roll for P1, and Rocco went out there and got the job done. Those kind of stories are what motorcycle racing are all about. It's that drive, right? It's that you pick that target and you put 110% of yourself behind it and other people get involved to help you make it happen, right? That is what this sport is all about. This sport is full of some of the best people in the world and I'm fortunate to be in a position where I get to spend time or get to hear these stories or participate in this at some level without being some epic racer. At the end of the day, I'm an enthusiast, just like all of you guys. I've got to do some laps. I got to do qualify for a couple of pro races, but I am not racing at the level that the people that are on this list are. I encourage you all to tune in. Other news and stuff we're gonna talk about real quick here. I got my SBS hat on. We've been partnered up with Vortex Racing, right? Matt Griffin over there do a great job. We sell a lot of their stuff. They make great parts. 
They have now partnered with SBS, okay? Chris Jensen is over there at Vortex. I've known Chris a long time. SBS makes a great product. We're gonna be testing these on Max's Ninja 400. They sent this over, so we're kind of expanding our partnership there a little bit. When we're down at the Coda tire test, which I'm still trying to get ready for right now to get Max down there, that's something I'm really looking forward to. Nice little road trip with the boy all the way down to Texas. We're gonna spend a few days with our friends. Max gets to learn another new track and ride another track the old man's not. So SBS, we will report back. We've got the dual carbons. I've used those before. Those are excellent pads. Lots of a grip, very linear, right? We've got the, the DS2s. This is a new compound I have not used. These pads are a little to the spendy side, right? But they're supposed to have some really long life. And I can tell you, Max has been eating brake pads. You know, we've been using the Vezra. Uh, ZZ pads on the Ninja 400. I love them. He loves them. You can wear them down pretty much to the backing plate and still get good performance, but he is just eating those things out there. So I'll be curious to see how these DS2s last considering the difference in price. I know these perform well and I also know that with the dual carbons racing at that level, you know, you're going to need to have pads to get yourself through the weekend. Other stuff I want to talk about and I'm probably going to leave you shortly after this. Bobby Fawn, right? This is my favorite magazine, Road Racing World. Who doesn't love it? Full color. Oh, look at that ad. Go ahead, tell, tell Max how I'm leaned over more than he is. It's okay, the old man's still faster, even though I have to ride a 1,000 to get that done. So this was on the counter when I got home last night. I started flipping through it, and they had an at-home. Let me see if I can find this article here with one of my favorite American road racers, Mr. Bobby Fong, M4 X-Star Suzuki super bike racer. There we go, hanging with Bobby Fong. Now I'm gonna have Caleb zoom in on something because I texted him and Chris last night. Right here. The young man needs to take better care of his yard. He's a hell of a motorcycle racer and a pretty entertaining dude all the way around. But Bobby, you gotta water your grass, dude. It's all splotchy, that's no good, okay? How do we think Bobby's gonna do this year? I think, I think Bobby is poised to win the Super Bike Championship in Moto America this year. I am stoked to watch him get out there and ride. I love how hard this dude rides, right? I remember when the first year when he was on M4 X-Star Suzuki, and he got that 600 championship. Watching him do battle week in and week out was just inspiring. Anybody who's into motorcycle racing, right? And remember, you can just get this, you can get the Moto America Live Plus, and you can go back and you can still watch those races, right? They still have the archives in there. The action was epic. Him and Hayden Gillum racing, unbelievable, great stuff. And it, that would make Anyone a Bobby Fawn fan? I got my money on Bobby for lots of race wins and a championship. At the end of the season, we'll come back and see if the old man was right.